Great day everyone, this is Jason Santos and for today we are going to continue the discussion of service culture. We are already in uh, session 6, social skills. So let's start this. Uh, these are some of the objectives that we need to cover. Discuss social skills as a component of social competence. Explain the importance of developing solid social skills. And uh, again, this module is designed to provide guidelines on the development of social skills. And um, as what I have uh, been uh, emphasizing in our previous topics, everything uh, in service culture revolves around the, the topic of uh, leadership and the development of leadership. So for today, we are going to differentiate soft skills and hard skills. Uh, this is a very important uh, topic because sometimes graduates um, tend to mix or interchange soft skills and hard skills and they do not know what is the difference between the two. So today we are going to discuss that and uh, hopefully we will all understand the difference between soft skills and hard skills. So soft skills are attributes that enhance how we relate with each other. And then we refer to them as people skills. And um, as emphasized in our previous topics, people skills are now more important as compared to the technical skills or hard skills. And sometimes it's called EQ or emotional quotient, emotional intelligence. Now these are skills we use learned or intrinsically developed in order to survive in social settings. So that's true. Uh, in social set settings, we use these um, soft skills or uh, in the vernacular, pagka nasa harap tayo ng madami mga tao, um, we, we must know how to socialize. Dapat marunong tayo makibaga, you know. Though we are not... Um, in the same belief or in the same um, mindset of the people we are talking to, we have to um, adapt, we have to socialize. Kailangan tayo makibagay. Okay? And that's a very important skill. Ano? If you would like to um, prolong your career or become successful in any field. The soft skills are now recognized as critical competencies that make business more profitable and companies better places to work. Uh, nowadays, again, you know, um, it is important for companies to become all-inclusive, meaning walang pinipili na there are no specific uh, gender or race or religious belief or political belief. Um, we must all, or, or companies and organizations and businesses must accept people from different backgrounds, okay? And that makes them a successful and a better place to work. And in turn, more profitable. Okay? So, in order for it to be successful, people within that organization must play a part. No? They must be contributory to the um, all-inclusiveness no? of the organization. Uh, soft skills are integral to a manager or leader role. Again, okay, this is um, one of the most important skills that a leader must possess, a set of soft skills. Now, some organizations identify the following as the most urgent soft skills or set of skills for people in position of leadership. If you are a leader, you must have the following. Respect, again, or respect for people of different cultures, different backgrounds, political beliefs, religious beliefs, so on and so forth. You must be a team player. You must work with the team. Okay? Must have teamwork skills. And when we talk of leadership, you must have a good sense of ethics. You must be ethical in your decisions, in your actuations. Um, you must know what is morally acceptable uh, what is ethically acceptable. You must also have good sense of integrity or you must be credible to your people. You have this reputation and integrity that you would like to keep. 
meaning people believe you, people trust you. Okay? So these are all soft skills. Now, uh, take note, we are not, these are not technical or hard skills. And these are type of skills that you don't learn by reading a book or, you know, studying a course on respect, on ethics, on teamwork. No. Uh, these type of skills you learn from experience and you learn through practice. Okay? Sabi nga nila eh, if you are battle-tested, if you have been in um, the leadership position, you develop those soft, uh, soft skills later on. Okay? Now, the hard skills again are technical skills or administrative competencies that account for operational tasks. Um, while we are not saying that these are not important, in, in fact, these are also important, but as you go along the leadership role, you will need more of the soft skills rather than the hard skills. Kasi the hard skills can be done by the people uh, in your uh, front lines or those who are at the bottom tier of the, uh, the pyramid. Okay? You subordinates, um, rank and file people. Okay? Your knowledge and ability to accomplish a process or procedure related to your job. The hard skills are usually tangible, specific, and teachable. Uh, soft skills are not teachable or transferable, but hard skills are teachable, tangible, na ipapasa, okay? can be trained. You can train people to learn these uh, skills. So again, soft skills, uh, in certain quarters, EQ or emotional quotient, and then hard skills pertains to technical skills used when we perform tasks. Compared to soft skills, hard skills are those competencies we fall back on and use to accomplish tasks. So yung hard skills, yun yung ginagamit natin to accomplish uh, uh, tasks and reach specific goals. While the soft skills, uh, you use that for decision making, for leadership. Now, they are operational tools in a manner of speaking and may be considered technical in their application. So, when we talk of soft skills, what are some of the examples of those? Uh, it's an ability to come to work on time regularly. Okay? Ability to work independently without supervision. Yan. Of course, this involves discipline. Eh? When you come to work on time regularly, you know? you're not a latecomer, okay? It means you're disciplined. You, you, are, you, uh, you respect time, you follow time. Ability to work independently without supervision. So, yeah, ano? that's an example of a soft skill, right? Because even though without your supervisor, you're still, still doing the right thing. Eh? Diba, diba we have this quote that when the cats are away, the mouse will play. <laughs> Pag sa isang organization, wala yung leader, the subordinates or the people nagpepetix, nagre-relax na lang, ano? But if you are a type of person that can still work without supervision, that's a good um, manifestation of a soft skill. Good communication skill to get along with other people. And again, as I have emphas uh, emphasized in our previous discussions, when you talk of communication skills, this does not mean that you are a good speaker or you're very fluent with English. What this means is that you are a good communicator. You can listen well, you can articulate your message clearly. No? Wala yan sa pagandahan ng salita or pagandahan ng accent. When we are saying communication skills, naiintindihan ka ng kausap mo. Right? Hindi yung isa, ang dami-daming sinabi, ang haba ng mga uh, salita, pananalita, pero wala namang naintindihan yung kausap. Okay? So, that is what good communication skills is all about. Okay? Advantages of soft skills, for example, a lawyer not only needs to know the finer points of the law, so when you take on law, magkakabisado ka ng batas niya. Ano? So, that's a technical skill. You have to memorize. But, you need 
soft skills, which is what? To manage your client, right? The finer points of the law. How would you communicate with your client? Let's say, agitated na yung client mo, mainit yung ulo, etc. Hindi naman sa memorize mo yung batas eh. No? It's not what will make the the transaction successful, but rather your ability to uh, adjust, marunong ka mag-adjust sa situation. Okay? An IT person not only should know how to program, but also to be able to deal with users, internal and external, to better understand what will be useful to them. So when you are an IT person, you are filled with hard skills, technical skills. But along with that, is that understanding, ano ba yung mas makakadali sa kanila? Kasi, your users, not all of them are IT experts. Some of them do not know the ins and outs of technology and computer. So how will you make it easier to use for them? So yan, that's an example of a soft skill manifesta manifested no, uh, in your work. Okay, Other types of soft skills, adaptable, being able to motivate your coworkers, you are a good listener, team player, punctual, outgoing, responsible, and productive. And then hard skills, typing 50 words per minute or changing tires yan. Pwede mong ipasa yan. Ano, you can teach someone to change tires. Okay? From zero skills, zero knowledge, pwede mong turuan. Babae, lalaki, medyo bata, basta kaya niyang um, paikutin yung wrench, no? tanggalin yung nuts and bolts. Typing 50 words, it takes practice. Okay? Anyone can do it. Pwede mong i-transfer yung skill. Just need to uh, teach them properly. You start with the home keys. Yan, no? Pinag-aralan ko yan when I was in college, yung typing. That's one of the skills na meron kami uh, in business. No? So, yan. Building a furniture. Yan. Craftsmanship, uh, craftsmanship yan. yan. Pwede mong ituro yan. That's a hard skill. Okay? Writing a manual, okay? You write a manual. What are the parts of the manual? What should be the formatting? Technical aspects lahat yun, ano? Teaching a language. So, yeah, language is also hard skill. Kaya nga sabi natin kanina, eh, language is different from communication. It's not about your fluency in speaking, but being sure that uh, the other person understand what, what message you are conveying. Uh, planting a tree is a skill. Software development is a skill. So here are some differences uh, among hard skills and soft skills. Uh, this is according to Indeed. Uh, Indeed is a job search platform available in the Philippines. Okay. So, yan, may kita mo, no? Hard skills. You must be multilingual. Ayan, language again. Database management. Adobe, Adobe Software Suite. SEO, SEM marketing. Data mining. So on and so forth. So, lahat ito are skills that you learn, ano? Pwede ka mag-aral ng isang course and then you will give it, be given a certificate. Tapos, certifying that you are skilled, let's say, in Python, in Java, etc. But when you talk of soft skills, okay, these are personal. Wala ka namang makukuwang certificate na certificate on integrity, certificate on empathy, walang ganun, ano? You would have to, sometimes sabi nga nila, it's either you have it or you don't. No? Some people are born with, with the ability to empathize to become creative. Meron talaga mga ganun, ano? may mga tao very creative, eh. meron din naman mga tao na hindi. Right? Uh, integrity, open-mindedness. Okay? These are some of the things that uh, are in it to you, personal, and sometimes you learn through years and years of experience. Kaya nga sabi nila, no? again, when you climb up the ladder, when you are in a leadership position, Hindi na yung hard skills ang kailangan sa'yo. Ang kailangan sa'yo would be soft skills. Why? 
you need to be a team player you know you may you need to make sure that the teams are functioning well you need to empathize with people may mga makakausap ka diyan may mga kanya-kanyang problema yung mga tao mo no you have to empathize okay you need to be a person of integrity meaning you are credible people trust you di ba so all of those those things those are some of the differences between um hard skills and soft skills so i hope that has been made clear to all of you so yan first line management ang kailangan mas maraming technical skills no pansin mo human skills you have to socialize with people conceptual konti lang but notice that as you go into top management kumukonti na lang yung need for technical skills bakit hindi na kasi ikaw yung gagawa ng mga bagay na yun ano for example you are in a fast food one of the technical skills is yung ability to create uh, to make burgers dapat kabisado mo no marunong ka magluto marunong kang mag um, prepare ng uh, different types of burgers at kailangan mo siyang gawin na mabilis pag manager ka hindi na ikaw yung gagawa noon andito ka na eh top management ka na you are conceptualizing kumbaga nagmo-monitor ka na lang so you need more of the human skills and conceptual skills Tinitingnan mo na lang yung mga tao mo if ginagawa ba nila ng maayos yung trabaho nila. Ano ba yung mga <clears throat> kulang pa sa ating restaurant so that we would earn more. Kapag may nag-complain na customer, ikaw yung haharap. No? You have to talk to the customer, apologize, make amends, or um, offer a resolution. No? Kailangan concept yun, pag-iisip. No? Hindi technical skill lang pinag-uusapan doon. So, as you move up, You don't use much of the hard skills but rather the soft skills na yung conceptual and human skills. Okay? So I hope that's understood. Now, um part of this discussion is uh, a selective attention um activity, no? So ito sasabihin ko na sa inyo, but uh in the past what I've been doing is I show them this video about selective attention. And then their task is They have to count how many times the people in white dress or white clothes pass the ball to one another. So binibilang nila, no? binibilang ng mga students. And then nabilang na nila, for example, 20 times sila nagpasahan ng bola. And then at the end, I ask them, did you see the gorilla? Hati eh, may mga magsasabi, hindi nila nakita yung gorilla, and then some would say, yes, nakita ko po, sir. So, y- if you want to, s- to see the video, um, it's here. This is the link. No? But since I already mentioned the presence of gorilla, makikita nyo na siya. No? Um, in the past, when you just ask them the question, how many times the, the people in white passed the ball, dun lang sila nakafocus. No? So, what we're trying to understand here is selective attention. Nakafocus ka lang sa isang bagay. And because of that, hindi mo na nakikita yung bigger picture or the other parts of the um, the other parts of the picture or the presentation. Okay? So, that phenomenon is called blind spots. Okay? When you are a leader, you must have um, an acknowledgement and know that there will be blind spots and you need people to help you see those blind spots. So first, let me define what is a blind spot. Blind spots are a form of vision impairment and it is named after a functional impairment of the eyes where the nerve fibers block the passage of light from the retina. So, meron talaga tayong blind spots, no? tayong mga tao. Minsan nga, meron tayong tinatawag na color blind, no? Hindi nila makita ng maayos yung kulay or iba yung interpretation nila sa kulay. Hindi naman nila kasalanan yun, ano? It's an eye, um, an eye issue, an eye impairment. When you are driving, meron din tayong tinatawag na blind spot, no? Kasi you are driving, nakaharap ka dun sa tinitingnan mo yung nasa harapan mo, and then, With the side mirrors and yung uh, rear view mirror, makikita mo yung mga nasa iba't ibang part sa likod mo. Pero, 
hindi yun assurance na kita mo 100%. There would be some areas na hindi covered ng, for example, itong side mirror. Ganyan lang siya. Kaya yung iba bumibili yung maliit pa na bilog eh, na naka-concave siya para kita yung iba pang angles. No? So nilalagay nila yon Kaya nga minsan, ano, pagka nagda-drive ka, ang hirap eh. Kasi kagaya yan, yung mga motor, singit lang ng singit. No? Hindi nila iniisip na when you are driving four wheels, marami kang blind spots. No? Magugulat ka na lang, biglang merong pagliko mo, meron ka naipit na motor. Kasi yung motor, trying to overtake you from right, which is wrong. Ano? Bawal yun eh. Kung nag-aral ka ng driving, alam mo yon na you should not overtake from right. Pero yung mga motor, ganun ang ginagawa nila. No? So, Ayun. Uh, that's an example of a blind spot. Okay? Now, when you talk of organizations, meron din tayong mga tinatawag na blind spots. Okay? Blind spots refers to a functional impairment where individuals are blind when it comes to functions or processes. Kumbaga, selective attention. Meron siyang ilang mga bagay na doon siya nakafocus, tapos yung iba hindi niya masyado pinapansin. For example, meron kang makikitang manager, focus siya sa attendance. Kumbaga, pet peeve niya yung attendance. No? Very important sa kanya. Kapag ka na-late ka or umabsent ka, pagagalitan ka talaga. Pero, nakafocus siya sa attendance, pero wala siyang pakilam on speed. Kahit mabagal kang magtrabaho, basta present ka palagi. Yes, so that's an example of a blind spot. No? Nakafocus lang siya sa isang bagay. Yung ibang bagay, pinababayaan na niya. No? Ideally, blind spots are repaired with as much urgency as possible and they are attacked with surgical precision and coach to improvement. So, kung sa mata, inooperahan ka, no, there is a surgery in order to um, help you see better. Uh, sa organizations, you must be coached to improve. Some people would have to tell you, Oh, ito, Jason, hindi mo nakikita ito mga ganito. You must improve on this. You must improve on that. Okay, Mark. Um, okay naman yung oh, performance ninyo. Kaya nga lang, hindi mo nakikita yung mga ganitong issues. no? So, you need to work on that. That's an example of a blind spot. Okay. Depth or competent involves influence. So, when you talk of influence, um... This is very important. Although the term invites criticism because of its association to negative behavior, influence is really just the capacity for causing an effect in indirect or intangible ways. Okay? Kasi when you are in a position of leadership, uh, you influence people. And when you influence people, sometimes you may influence them for the good or sometimes for the bad. So you need to make sure that you are um, taking a close attention or paying close attention on what you are doing or what are your actuations. When one holds sway over certain aspects of operation or organizational function, it means that a person has developed a connection with an aspect or part of the organization where changes occur because of this influence. So, empathic relationships can change how the dynamics within an organization works. And with self-aware, self-regulated, motivated, and skilled leadership, ito yung mga kinover na natin in the past, no? self-awareness, self-regulation, motivating not just yourself but other people. You will become a skilled leader, no? skilled leadership, not just with hard skills but soft skills. The catalyst for change and influence can always affect more positive change. We have also covered empathy in the past and its important in uh, importance in diffusing conflict. No? If you are an empathic person, you understand both sides. And then in return, uh, you get to practice trust, attentiveness, appropriateness, response, Shared experience, respect, and support. And then, empathy blockers may be encountered along the way. So, pinag-aralan na natin yung empathy blockers in the past. No? And that's something that we must avoid. Okay? Avoid in 
um, understanding people more or empathizing with people more. So yeah, defensiveness, block feelings, lowered self-esteem, decreased ability, and emotional barriers. So these are some of the results of not being able to empathize properly or merong blockage when it comes to empathy. When people have lower self-esteem, hindi sila gagana magtrabaho. When they have low, uh, their they think that their feelings are not being acknowledged, hindi sila gaganahan magtrabaho. No? Okay? Kasi may blind spot ka eh. Meron kang selective attention or parang meron kang, uh, ang sabi nga nila, favoritism. Ano? Pag si ganito, okay lang kahit magkamali. Pero pag siya, grabe yung, um, ano mo, no? Grabe yung iyong attention at saka correction na ginagawa. Okay? With the ability to diffuse conflict uh, is the development of collaboration. So kapag ka mas mataas yung iyong soft skills, um, ability to diffuse conflict because you have leadership skills, communication, teamwork, um, ability to adjust, Okay, socialization and all, you develop collaboration within the team. And kapag yung mga tao mo, they are collaborating, they are um, showing teamwork, it's much better for everyone. Ano? You share the responsibilities and the resources, multiple, uh, multiple players making converged decisions to maximize the potential as a team. When everybody collaborates, the the job is easier for everyone ano? lahat kasi nagpa-participate lahat tumutulong and it happens if you are more socially and emotionally skilled rather than just having the hard skills okay the skill is especially important in the area of project management where resources and tasks contribute significantly to the success or failure of any project Again, it is important for a leader to hear about his blind spots. Dapat pag leader ka, open ka to criticism. Dapat uh, you can accept correction. You can accept people's suggestions. Okay? Kasi for all we know, yung suggestions nila are pertaining to your blind spots. No? Yun yung mga bagay na hindi mo na siguro nakikita because you're busy or you are focused on one area. So, you have to acknowledge those, okay? Working on them is periodically top of mind. That's according to Scott Ways. So, for your assignment, I would like you to write your own resume showcasing hard skills and soft skills. So, ulitin ko, no? when, when you talk of hard skills, these are technical skills. Maybe you're good in typing or... If I'm speaking to a hospitality management student, marunong siyang mag-bake, marunong siyang mag-bartending, so on and so forth. And sometimes, yung mga hard skills are backed up with certificates. No? Kaya nga, when you have a resume, you write down your skills, tapos kasunod doon, certifications. Eh. Right? Training certification. So, what I'm expecting from you as um, a freshman, sophomore, or a, high, uh, a college student is that mas marami kayong hard skills. Okay? Kasi the soft skills you develop later on when you start working, when you take on leadership uh, roles, so on and so forth. Okay? So, alam na natin yung distinction between the two. So, dapat makita ko yung difference. No? Yung sinulat mo, pang hard skill ba yan or pang soft skill. And then, in your opinion, what are the dangers of a leader not acknowledging his or her blind spots? So, with that, uh, I hope you have learned something from this uh, discussion. And uh, thank you so much. Hope uh, you are all in a good and safe condition. And till our next uh, lesson, to God be all the glory.